Beetlejuice is dying, and this news was a hard pill for scientists to swallow. Like any star, its core will eventually run out of fuel and begin to transform, expanding and engulfing the orbits of Mercury and Venus and coming very close to Earth. They can't do anything about it because the massive star goes supernova. Astronomers say it could be tomorrow, next month, or in a few months. They don't know the exact date. But one thing is certain. The famous Betelgeuse is over, and its death will change our lives. What is so special about the Betelgeuse supernova that has everyone upset? What would happen if the star exploded today, as scientists predicted? Join us on this exciting journey as we seek answers to these questions in today's video. Betelgeuse supernova will explode in 2024, NASA had announces. It is finished. Nothing can be done to stop the impending doom. The head of NASA is shouting and warning the world about the approaching Betelgeuse supernova, which could change the trajectory of the planet and life as we know it. Its end is near. Like a terminally ill patient, Betelgeuse approaches his grave. It's only a matter of time before a famous star explodes and ceases to exist. Astronomers have been fascinated by Betelgeuse for decades and have spent time studying the characteristics of the star and its imminent explosion. What astronomers have greatly feared is about to happen. The inevitable cannot be stopped. Betelgeuse is on its way to extinction and its end will come sooner than we expected. Betelgeuse is one of the most prominent stars in the Milky Way and has fascinated astronomers and astronomers for centuries. This reddish semi-variable star, whose apparent magnitude varies between 0.3 and 1.6, has long fascinated astrophysicists. Compared to other stars, Betelgeuse has the widest range of first magnitudes. The classical astronomer Ptolemy described Betelgeuse as more or less orange. Ptolemy, who was an Alexandrian mathematician, astrologer, astronomer, and geographer, studied Betelgeuse for many years. His research and observations provided astronomy with one of the earliest descriptions of a red giant star, IT, would be interesting to know that even Aboriginal groups in South Australia have been sharing oral stories about the varying brightness of Betelgeuse for at least a thousand years. However, advances in astronomy have given astronomers a more accurate picture of Betelgeuse and its properties. The red supergiant star is located in the constellation Orion and is one of the largest stars. Red supergiants are some of the largest and most massive stars in the universe. Their diameters, from 100 million to a billion kilometers, make them one of the wonders of the Milky Way. If we were to place Betelgeuse next to the Sun, the star would be 100 to 1,000 times wider than our Sun based on research. Scientists tell us that a red giant star is a dying star at the end of its evolution. Despite the common characteristics of a red supergiant star and a red giant star, there is a big difference between them. Unlike a red giant, which can form when a star with the mass of our sun runs out of fuel, a red supergiant occurs when a star with more than 10 solar masses enters this phase. A red supergiant star forms when it runs out of fuel to burn in its core. When a star runs out of fuel, it can no longer generate the heat and pressure needed to support its weight, causing it to collapse. Betelgeuse's wonderful personality extends to its brightness, as it is the 10th brightest star in the night sky and the second in its constellation just behind Rigel. However, if we were traveling at near-infrared wavelengths, no other star would take Betelgeuse's crown as the brightest star in the night sky. The brightness of the sun diminishes considerably when placed next to the giant frame of Betelgeuse. The radius of the red supergiant is 640 times greater than the radius of the sun. If we could use a magic wand to place Betelgeuse at the center of our solar system, its surface would be beyond the asteroid belt and absorb the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Based on calculations made by scientists over the years, the mass of Betelgeuse is estimated to be 10 to 20 times greater than the mass of the Sun. The most shocking news revealed about this star is that it is approximately 600 light years away from the Sun. So, technically, there is. Astronomers could not shake the surprise they felt when they learned that Betelgeuse was less than 10 million years old. By cosmic standards, it is a young star, a baby compared to our ancient sun, which is about 5 billion years old. What Betelgeuse loses in age, it makes up for in size. Its size covers most of the stars in the universe. Although scientists did their best to get the exact diameter of Betelgeuse, it was a Herculean task because it is a pulsating star. This means that its diameter changes over time. 
Another reason that scientists overlook this important information is that Betelgeuse has no definable edge, because the darkening of the limb causes the optical radiation to change color and decrease the further it extends from the center. In addition, Betelgeuse is surrounded by a peristellar mantle of material ejected from the star, making it difficult to determine the star's photosphere. In addition, the apparent size of the star depends on the wavelength used. Atmospheric scintillation also plays a role in limiting the resolution of ground-based telescopes as turbulence degrades angular resolution. You can see that the diameter of Betelgeuse is difficult to accurately determine. However, that hasn't stopped scientists from making estimates of what they think the diameter of this giant star might look like. Besides the star's diameter, another puzzle for Betelgeuse scientists is the complex dynamics of its extended atmosphere. Scientists are well aware that the mass that makes up galaxies is recycled as stars are formed and destroyed. However, they still haven't answered the question of how the crowd disappears. As exciting as this mystery sounds, it is nothing compared to the latest development that scientists have discovered while studying Betelgeuse. It's no secret that Betelgeuse has a large mass, but what many don't know is that this is why it has evolved so quickly over the years. Mathematically, we can draw a straight graph from the increase in the mass of Betelgeuse to its evolution over millions of years. On that note, don't be put off by the bombshell news we drop later. Betelgeuse is dying soon. A red giant star is expected to stop its evolution if it experiences a supernova explosion any time from now. A.S. Soon as astronomers realized that Betelgeuse was committed to a supernova, the scientific community was ready. A supernova is a powerful and bright stellar explosion. Scientists explain that a supernova occurs in the final stages of the development of a massive star, or when a white dwarf triggers rampant nuclear fusion. What then happens is that the original object, known as a progenitor, either collapses into a neutron star or black hole, or is destroyed completely, forming a diffuse nebula. If Betelgeuse explodes today, the peak optical brightness of the supernova can be compared to that of the entire galaxy before it fades in several weeks or months. The mere sight of this event would frighten or excite the spectators. Another fascinating fact about this red giant star is that it is visible to the naked eye at night. However, scientists still can't wrap their heads around the fact that the red supergiant is almost invisible from Earth in May-August due to its proximity to the Sun. This is one of the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse. What's fascinating about the books is that Betelgeuse is one of the three stars that make up the winter triangle asterism, marking the center of the winter hexagon. Beginning in early January each year, the star can be seen rising in the east just after sunset. From mid-September to mid-March, he can be seen in almost all inhabited areas of the world except Antarctica at 8 degrees south latitude. So on a normal day, when the daylight says goodbye to the earth and the darkness of the night descends, Betelgeuse is found among the stars that decorate the sky. If Betelgeuse exploded today, everyone would see the consequences. It would be as visible as if we were watching a 3D movie. Everyone would know something went wrong in the Milky Way. A supernova would appear as a very bright point of light in the sky that could cast shadows at night. The Betelgeuse supernova would shine as brightly as the crescent moon for more than three months, changing the face of what happens on Earth, if you doubt this. Remember that Betelgeuse is only 642 light-years from Earth. Figuratively speaking, the star is our backdoor neighbor. There is no inevitable escape. We will certainly feel the effects of this great explosion. Before examining the effects of the Betelgeuse explosion, it is important to note that the brightness of the star is not constant. This may come as a shock to many people, but Betelgeuse's brightness changes over time. The brightness of the star is known to vary, and this made the study even more exciting for scientists. But one thing is certain. If Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it will be an astronomical event of a lifetime. So what exactly happens when a star like Betelgeuse goes supernova? And what is its effect on Earth? Stay tuned as we discover the answers to these and other questions in the next part of our video.